Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another episode and today we're talking about episode 20 of Dino Fury which is Waking Nightmares. Now this is kind of an episode that I think worked really kind of well and it gave me lots of different sci-fi uh, vibes, mainly Doctor Who, but we'll kind of talk about that much later on. So this episode kind of gives us more backstory of what's been going on with uh, Zato and Ion and, and stuff like that, which I think is absolutely fantastic because you kind of, you get to see a little bit. I would love to see an episode mainly of the past of how all of this started to happen because I feel like there is so much more to this. They're, they're hinting at so much. Like they're, they're teasing and they're throwing little tidbits at us. And I kind of really want to see more. I want to see what the uh, what Zato's team looked like. I want to see how they got their powers. I would love it if they went into like kind of a rear soldier type thing. I think that would be absolutely just fantastic. For me at least anyway. So I'd be kind of going like I, I, I geek out over this because you know we've had so much stuff from Dino Fury so far that I think that this would just put the icing on the cake to make it one of the best seasons uh, that we've got. Now, let's kind of go over what happens in the episodes as I've got my notes to the side here. So we have the fact that we open up and we get Nightmare. We see that uh, Ion is kind of with the other Rangers. You know, we're getting the whole thing that they're, they're together and, you know, we see the Megazord being destroyed. Now, one thing is, I find it a bit confusing because when you look at the, um, when you look back at the flashback, you see that all the henchmen are working with the rangers to begin with, and then all of a sudden they're fighting, uh, looks like they're fighting it, because you just see the dino, uh, or the ultra sword that they've got just blast through all of them. So it's kind of weird that, you know, the henchmen were going against the rangers. Maybe it was the fact that there were tons of them, and, you know, you could easily make your own henchmen, and they would attack. So I think that would be kind of cool to kind of see. Uh, or maybe someone did take them over and you know same thing as like with Vo Void Knight. So Ion uh, tells uh, Zato everything and Zato kind of brushes it off slightly um, because obviously they say right we've got to get up in the morning because we've got to find out about like these keys that the Ollie's mum's going to help them get it and they get the keys they get them and you know the battle keys you've got the white white one which breaks a magical curse and then you have the black mode when uh, that causes black holes and activates shadow battle mode. So, which is kind of cool. Combined together, you get the cosmic dino key, which is able to open a portal to anywhere in the universe. I would have a feeling that this will be the new way that they'll be able to jump to other dimensions. So, same things that we saw in Dimensions in Danger with the portal that Wes made. I, I reckon that they're going to upgrade the key to some point to say, hey, we can travel to any uh, dimension now and it'll be quite easy. And I think that they'll copy it and give it to like the rangers and like say, here's a device, pop the key and you can come across to our universe. It, I, I've got, I've just got a feeling that that will happen. If not, wasted opportunity. So we found out that the Zords, the Raptor Zords are on a uh, planet called Nibiru. I don't know if that's in the Power Ranger universe uh, at all, but it'd be kind of cool if it was. So it's kind of like a distant planet. I would laugh if they said, oh yeah, they're on Etanoi, because I'd be like, holy crap, you're going even more. But this other planet, I don't know if it's been announced or anything, but if not, we now have another world in the Power Ranger universe. So there, uh, Ion opens a portal to another uh, to that world. Zeta goes in and he is faced with the other Rangers of his past. Now they've been he gets scanned, so obviously it's not the the real Rangers, which I was a bit gutted about because it just looks like he was scanned, and then the Rangers jump in to kind of attack him. But they keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Like the Zords are going to go, you know, they're too strong, etc., etc. I think those are the main things. If not, if you know, let me know down below in the comments. But this kind of really gave me Doctor Who vibes, like the Doctor Who in the library, where it's just like where the, the characters would get eaten by the things. And, you know, the last few words were um, something like, oh, you know, who's there? Or, you know, it's too dark in here. And it kind of reminded me of that one because they kept saying it and it's kind of kind of freaky. But can you imagine if, if Ion was there and it just had more rangers to turn up? But to be fair, it was kind of cool. So as the portal kind of doesn't work and closes and Zato is stranded on the other side, 
they're able to kind of tap into the morphing grid to channel energy to the key and thanks to ollie's mom who has been able to kind of combine everything together and like use her technology to attach to the stones like the st uh, stone statues and is able to kind of power up and they're able to see the morphing grid which i thought was kind of a, a very nice touch with this you see obviously void knight mucus and slifer kind of just looking over and going oh like you know we can now tap into this but they're kind of not interfering so they're kind of watching i kind of like that because it felt like void knight is keeping an eye on them going like i know what the rangers are like we know what you know in past things where bad guys don't even interact or they they are like oh my god like look at lord zed and stuff like that when he was like watching them all the time so seeing this kind of like brought back really good memories uh, from that sort of thing they bring back regal and he is able to bring back boom tower and they make a new thing which is invisible gas so when when and i, I absolutely love this i think this is kind of a callback to to rpm so when the rangers kind of i like, turn up to fight they morph but because boom tower has like attacked and thrown out like these uh, gas balls they don't know so when they morph and the explosions go off more explosions happen which hurt the rangers and i love the fact that izzy turns around and goes is that meant to happen more like are, are there meant to be more explosions or more more explosions than usual so i kind of like the fact that they know about the explosions but boom tower has actually slifer's um sporix inside so he obviously he took that on which was a bit kind of weird because i thought that would have powered slifer but obviously i'm guessing nope doesn't really matter anymore on that one so zato and ion um are able to fight the the past rangers and kind of talk to them about a few things and you find out that you know all they had to do was demorph and say the you know knights forever and then they say the names or the basically what it is like valor trust etc etc and then they just kind of like power down and disappeared or turn into the orb that is talking so we know we now know that there is another life form protecting the planet and he says like oh you know, you're fine I, I think you're okay on this one don't worry about it uh, i'm just gonna like you know lead you to the zords and Z zato just disappears he goes back and helps the rangers and then obviously they get uh, ion gets the zords he takes them back home with the port of the key because the zords are obviously powering the key more and that's pretty much it. They just, they go back. Boom Tower grows quite big. And then we get a new Megazord combination, which is the Moses Shadow Megazord. And as they fight a bit, we've obviously got the regular Megazord. And that's when, um, like, they create a black hole, fire it at um, Boom Tower and kind of, like, kill it. Just suck him in. He's gone. I find it kind of weird because last time we saw something like this was in Dino Charge. And I generally thought, oh god, no, what the hell? And I thought this was going to be another thing. But there was hardly any damage, so it was a contained black hole. So the Rangers are called back to the base, and they found out Ollie's mom's technology has been stolen uh, by Void Knight, and everyone kind of wonders why and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and you know, they're trying to find out and figure out why he took the equipment, which, to me, is absolutely fine. I generally kind of thought, oh, that that's kind of cool. So this episode was actually pretty decent it kind of I, I really like throwbacks i really like the way that the like the the rangers were fighting and it was more kind of they were going on and on it was the same sort of thing that would creep me out after a while if they kept saying the same thing over and over again so i generally kind of thought that was actually really cool it was something that i kind i, I generally thought do you know what I, I, if this is the writing that is going to go on, I would absolutely love to see season two. I'd love to see season three. I think I could see this going on for such a long time. And I don't think I'd get bored with it because I feel like there's so much more you can still tap into, into the story. But with season two f f uh, approaching quite quickly, I think this is going to be a very cool storyline. So I'm very kind of happy on that one. Um, this is a great episode. I feel like there was so much callback. There was so much like, there was no comedy in this one, which was kind of nice. So it was nice to see that there was more, like, storytelling than there was kind of focusing on other things. So, yeah, I generally kind of liked it. I really want to see Zeta go back in time to his planet with the other Rangers, or at least seeing the other ones, because I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I, I, just, I just really want to see it. I'm hoping that they do something like that in Season 2. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. What are your thoughts? What did you think about this episode? Have you seen it already? Let me know down below in those comments. If you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Bye! Channel to support us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
願い。